This video is inspired by the YouTube channel of Central Florida Bigfoot. Okay, trackway here, and I got uh, a couple new things for you. Uh, first one is this rechargeable hand warmer. Now, this is a hand warmer uh, plus spare uh, backup battery so that you can charge electronics when you're not using it as a heater. Okay. Uh, everybody's familiar with the GoPro. And then the next item I have here uh, with the cord attached is uh, an airsoft helmet. Or, you know, some they call them Ace, excuse me, Wendy helmets. Uh, this one here is made strictly for like, uh, you know, airsoft BB guns, which believe it or not is a thing. Um, you see a lot of videos on it and whatnot. Uh, it's soft, light plastic. I don't know if I would trust it as a hard hat in uh, any shape or form. Uh, you can adjust the padding on the inside. Uh, this one came with a cover. And uh, the nice thing about it is that you can mount flashlights as you go and when you're walking. Now, I splurged and got a aluminum mount for the GoPro. And then I added this back here. This is actually a battery carrier for uh, night vision goggles. But, you know, the uh, hand warmer will sit right down in there. And then I can run a an exterior power cord to my GoPro and uh, record for hours. And it might seem silly or whatnot, but the nice thing about it is, one, you do get a level of protection when walking through the woods because you can. You know, a lot of people don't realize, you know, you can get injured out there uh, walking around uh, in the woods, trees, whatnot. So, you know, Having some level of head protection uh, is not a bad idea. Uh, your eyes, for God's sakes, wear safety glasses. I've seen more people lose eyes walking around out in the woods than anything else. Um, and if you take any kind of challenge walking down a road in the middle of the night, wear safety glasses. Wear safety glasses. You know, you only have two eyes. Once they're gone, that's it. Protect them. Uh, but the other nice thing about this too, with the GoPro mounted up here on the helmet or whatnot, or say one of the phasm cams, you know, I can mount one of my IR flashlights off the side or whatnot. And then wherever I turn my head and look, wherever my eyes go, my head goes. So, uh, 50 bucks. I think, uh, these were like, that was like a $20 thing off Amazon. And then the mount, maybe 20 bucks. I don't know. But, um, yeah, if you're going to be walking through the woods, daylight, night, and whatever, um, you know, one, you know, you're going to turn right towards wherever you heard the sound. You don't have to turn your whole body. Uh, two, you'll have some base level of protection. And uh, three, you, you should have a pretty nice... Um, platform for carrying your GoPro. No signs of any secondary breaking or anything in the background. Deer standing right there looking at me like I'm an idiot. Hi. And that's why we wear a helmet on our heads. I 
signs of any secondary breaking or anything in the background. Deer standing right there looking at me like I'm an idiot. Hi. And that's why we wear a helmet on our heads. <laughs> Scared of the heaches out of me. Oh, I love that. I was just looking at that right there. Saying, wow. That looks so suspect for something to hide in. There are holes in this area right in here. Yeah, she'll take off. We don't want to get around her. Hopefully these guys haven't done much damage to the wildlife. Ooh! <laughs> Scared of the heaches out of me. Oh, I love that. I was just looking at that right there, mm -hmm. saying, wow, that looks so suspect for something to hide in. There are holes. That real tall one. Yep, we need to uh, back up. We're going to catch. Uh, it's going to fall. There's the source of our Babe Ruth wood knock. Now that's why we call those wheel makers. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It didn't really make any noise until I stepped under it. <coughs> now it seems fat, dumb, and happy. Kind of like me. What was that? What? That's not even... Out.
Yeah. So we have our uh, Babe Ruth wood knock. Yeah, it's that real tall one. Yeah, we need to uh, back up. We're going to catch. Uh, it's going to fall. So there's the source of our Babe Ruth wood knock. Now that's why we call those wheel makers. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It didn't really make any noise until I stepped under it. Uh, no. <coughs> now it seems fat, dumb, and happy. Kind of like me. Phasm came on the helmet May 17th. This is what it looks like. I have a light mounted on the helmet. Uh, it looks pretty good from this way. Uh, but I mounted both lights. Worked pretty good. Not too far off center. But I think it'll work. So in closing, I just wanted to list some of the pros and cons that I found so far in uh, using this helmet uh, for what I'm using it for, and that is as a, a video uh, platform. Uh, it, number one, it's very lightweight, uh, much lighter than uh, construction helmet, various types of those. Uh, it's lighter than Kevlar helmets. It's lighter than just about every helmet that I've ever used. Uh, course that reflects upon uh, the amount of protection that each one of those helmets presented so uh, secondly it has a chin strap so I prefer a chin strap over say a neck strap so you know it should an event happen where the helmet is yanked off your head um, that strap will not damage your trachea so I uh, much prefer having a chin strap on there. Uh, of course, in the end, it's going to cause you issues, say, if you chew gum or something of that nature. Uh, three, it balances really well. Uh, I had a flashlight on one side uh, mounted with the Phasm cam up front. It, it, I was surprised by how well it balanced. Uh, balancing is a big thing because you get more weight to one side versus the other. Uh, then you're fatiguing one, you get unequal fatigue, and uh, that just wears you out much quicker. And uh, yeah, I was surprised at how well it balanced. Uh, another thing, one quick uh, touch on that chin strap. I was really surprised at how well that locked down. Um, it locked down surprisingly, uh, surprisingly tight on the back, and uh, it worked. I, yeah, I was really impressed with it. Uh, number four, it's affordable. Yeah, it, when I got this complete set, and it comes with the cover and the padding and everything, uh, minus the uh, front clip and the battery carrier. Yeah, it was only in the 50s. I think now it's up to $79 for the pack. And that's because the season, all right? Uh, it's something I failed to mention on that hand warmer. Now it's down to $17. If you're looking for a battery backup or, you know, just to use on trail or something like that, uh, go for your hand warmers because as they come out of season, they uh, often will drop in price. And then when the season comes back, you know, you'll probably be looking at uh, 30 bucks per hand warmer. 
Uh, it's very modular. So I can, uh, you know, besides being able to change up the three different cameras that I have up front, I can uh, snap uh, flashlights on both sides. Uh, you can get uh, hearing protection that mounts on with a microphone if you want, want it. Um, there's lights that you can get, LED lights and so forth, so people can identify you as you're going through the woods. Uh, IR marker lights even. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff you can get for these. And uh, it's all available. So uh, it, it's very nice. Number six. Doesn't sound like much, but it's a big one to me. It's the doll finish. So you get something glossy or shiny out in the woods. It just pulls attention to you. Uh, there's very few things besides stuff like poison ivy, you know, poison oak that's shiny out there. Um, anytime that you have a reflective surface that can draw attention to you unwantedly. Um, case in point, I wear glasses. And uh, when I get picked out by deer, it's because of my glasses. I've moved my my head or something, and turkeys as well. I move my head. They see that the uh, reflection off the glasses change or whatnot. So, and you know, I do something to uh, try to alleviate that. But uh, yeah, that dull finish is a seller. Uh, and lastly. Hearing is barely affected. Uh, I could hear just fine left, right sides. Um, unlike some helmets, which will cover up your ears. And uh, what that does is that deadens your ability to hear directionally. And uh, what you know, what's famous for that is say um, uh, the old old military Kevlar helmet. Uh, it was very famous for deadening your he hearing until they replaced it. Uh, but uh, I've noticed no effects whatsoever in the times that I've used this. And uh, been very happy. That's another big selling point. The style of helmet. Um, and I said this is the, the low end. Uh, if you go up to, you know, the Wendy helmet, which, you know, offers more protection... Uh, is shaped very similar um, it doesn't affect your hearing either uh, for the cons you know durability because it's pretty much plastic and uh, you know the more plastic or some plastics are out in sunlight or whatnot um, the, the quicker they'll break down become fragile um, the screws and so forth one thing I noticed that I'd get a lot of popping and I'm attributing that because of size, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, I, a lot of popping as far as what the camera's catching. Uh, number two, questionable suspension. Uh, the suspension of any helmet is what keeps you from injury. Okay, so like in a hard hat, the suspension's made so that, if, or in a construction hard hat that is, uh, if something comes down on your head, the load is transferred out to the suspension um, so you don't have a single point you know that can injure you uh, in these you know you uh, you have the pads in there they're not uh, the high quality type of padding again you wouldn't expect that for the price point um, again if you went up to the Wendy helmet Wendy bump helmet which is three hundred dollars? Uh, you would have a a better suspension pad that you could get. Uh, military pads are very thick, very well designed. Um, this doesn't have that, uh, and which brings to the last point: the fit. So I'm in that uh, very top end of the. Uh, what they call the small or regular helmet. And, uh, you know, being conscious of that, you know, if I grow a couple hair, my hair grows out any, um, you know, I, I can wear a seven and five eighths, no problem. But uh, with this helmet here, it says it's good up to like seven and seven eighths, but the padding on it, um, I can't adjust it to where 
uh, it fits me perfectly. So that's causing a little bit of movement in the helmet. And I think that's translating out to the camera through frame. So uh, I do have a different set of uh, pads on order. But again, you know, I wear a seven and a half. This is the large helmet. Um, I think I would have been just fine if I'd gotten the, the regular one, the regular helmet for this. But, uh, you know, they sell, they sell extra pads and I ain't got a problem uh, replacing these pads with uh, more com with a, a pad that has uh, a little more beef and a little bit more suspension to it.